everyone, it's Cassie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I want to teach you guys a little bit about the dairy industry and what happens behind closed doors. I know a ton of people who have become vegetarian because they don't believe in animal abuse and that's great, that's a step, but what they don't realize is that the dairy industry is just as bad or even worse than the meat industry in terms of how they treat the animals. And so today I want to teach you guys a little bit about what actually happens and what cows and other animals are put through when making dairy and how it is not moral in any way. My goal here is to just educate everyone on what actually is happening and the truth about it all. So one thing about the dairy industry that seems very obvious but I was totally oblivious to this which makes no sense but something I need to point out is that to for a cow to make milk the cow needs to be pregnant or needs to have just had a baby and be milking just like humans do. And since cows only get pregnant a certain amount of times and the dairy industry wants them to keep producing milk they use artificial insemination which can be painful and is sexually exploiting the cows now you might hear the phrase that the dairy industry is the meat industry and this is because once a dairy cow is too weak and literally gives out physically she is sent to the meat industry to be slaughtered another thing to mention is that right after the mother cow has her baby her baby is usually taken away from her within a day or two and she will cry out for days looking for her baby and this is done because the dairy industry doesn't want the baby calf to be drinking her mom's milk which is the natural right way that nature works because that milk is for us and for stores and they want to make as much profit as possible so they don't let the calf drink any of the mom's milk. The calf then goes on to somewhere else and has artificial milk that is a lot less healthy for the cow and if it's a female cow she will grow up to be a dairy cow just like her mother and if it's a male cow he will be sent straight to the slaughterhouse. Something really sad I just learned about when doing research for this video is that cows in the wild typically live around 25 years and that in the dairy industry they live around seven years so more than half their life is just completely gone and this is the average normal amount of years for a cow to live in the dairy industry so after a cow gives birth and she is milking obviously there has to be a way to get that milk and yes cows are supposed to be milked they are supposed to be milked by their calves but that would be too slow of a process and the calves don't need the milk because humans have it so in order to get the milk, the dairy industry uses milking machines. Just for a little reference, if a cow takes about 30 minutes to be milked by hand, it will take around 3 minutes for it to be milked by a milking machine. And that sounds really extreme, it's extreme, but from what I've researched, it doesn't seem that that rate of being milked actually hurts the cow. But there's a lot more to it than just the time it takes to milk the cow and what machines they use. So even though the actual milking machine may not hurt the cow in any way, because it is the same kind of suction as her baby calf would give her, she is usually in such awful living conditions that there's infections and just bacteria all down there and so that causes blood and pus to come out in her milk and only a certain amount is actually filtered out so that means that the dairy milk you buy in the grocery store has a little bit of blood and pus in it which I just think is gross another thing is one in six cows typically have mastitis which is the inflammation of the mammary gland in the breast or udder typically due to bacterial infection via a damaged nipple or teeth and when a cow has mastitis, that means that around 90% of the somatic cells in the cow's milk are neutrophils, which form pus. Basically the stuff that comes out when you pop a pimple on your face. And the average somatic cell count in a spoonful of dairy milk in the US is 1,120,000 somatic cells. And because of biological manipulation, dairy cows typically produce 12 times the amount of milk they would naturally produce just because they're in the dairy farm. And most dairy cows, which is around 90% in the US, so basically every single big name dairy corporation you can think of, their cows are always indoors and tied to stalls where they can only move one or two steps, which makes them very unhealthy because none of the cows are active like they should be in the wild. Also looking at this from a health standpoint, just a little quick fact, there's a lot more about how dairy is really bad for you, but just something I found really interesting 
was that the more milk people drink, the higher their risk for hip fractures and osteoporosis become. And I thought that was really interesting because, you know, we've always been told since kids, drink your milk to get calcium and to get strong bones and just athletes should have calcium and have milk. And that's basically the only way to achieve a lot of calcium. And so, yes, milk does have calcium in it, but it is not a good source. It doesn't technically make your bones that much stronger and there are a lot of other ways to get calcium that don't include animal cruelty and even just taking vitamin supplements is can be a lot cheaper and is a lot better for your health because it doesn't have everything else that milk has in it that's really really bad for you okay so that's basically it for this video there's a ton more about the dairy industry that I could talk about I wanted to just make this video short and sweet though get to the big main points I thought were really important so if you guys want me to make a part two to this video just let me know down in the comments and I'll definitely do that. I'll probably talk more about dairy industry and how it's bad for your health and for the animals and stuff like that maybe separately in other videos but right now I just wanted to kind of generalize everything and put it into one short little video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Um, if you did or if you have any other video requests revolving around veganism or health or anything like that, then please comment down below, like this video, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!